M0FXP. Big thanks to the mesh core video that I will link in the description. You can see it in the background. I've got myself an SD card and I've formatted it um, F32. I've got my Lily Go here. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off, hold down the, the middle ball and turn it on. Okay, and turn it on. So we're in, I don't know, download mode, let's call it. OK, I'll just leave that on the side, then move on to the next instruction. So the USB cable is connected to my PC and I'm going to go right click device manager. Like so, you can see it plugs in at the bottom device manager. And click ports uh, 85, OK, port 85 on my. So now we're going to open our web flasher, go to mesh core and then at the top here it says web flasher. Massive thanks to the mesh core team, of course. And I've been watching Andy Kirby's videos and highly recommend you, you make yourself a repeater and join the mesh. Um, right. So web flasher here. So at the top here, it says Lilygo T deck and pro and display pro. So I'm pretty sure it's just the T deck one that we do here. So we're going to click Lily T deck and then we're going to click the bottom one here, Ripple GUI data on SD card. Click that. And look, it's gone up to 7.12. And to whoever's responsible for the Ripple GUI, thank you. We'll click Erase Device. Then we're going to click Flash. Find our com, which we found earlier, and connect. That goes into flashing mode. That's good news. That was quick. Let's grab our device and we're going to unplug the cable and then turn it on. I want you to see this. <laughs> it's a bit fiddly. Let's get it right. Wow. Thank you. That looks fantastic. Insert SD card and reboot, it says. All right, well, let's put the card in. Just goes here. And get it the right way round. That's the one you can feel the springiness of it when it's this way round. And it's off at the moment. Let's turn it on. And we're at this screen. Now we're going to go down, select this, then tap here and go select this again. So a bit of learning here, long press trackball two seconds to turn off screen, single press turn screen on and press enter for the next help screen. So we'll press enter, which is here. That's where my finger is, this little curved arrow, and then track to the left. And then we've got mesh core showing here. So we're going to press enter, which is here. And then go down to UK narrow and then press. Keep it straight, try to <laughs> enter. And then we can now give it a name. Going to press enter. I have to keep pressing the wrong one. Enter. Then I'm going to tap here. So I'm going to hit identify. There's all our information. See if we can set a name. We'll go enter. Oops. Identify. Oh, um, go back. And then we'll just, I'll keep M O F X. Oops. F X B Ham Tech Enter. Okay, we'll have a name. Uh, include location. Let's go Enter. No. Go down. Include location. Is it, yeah, there you are. Manual GPS. Okay. Hopefully we'll get a GPS lock. 
Okay. So I'm going to go, oops, does time out. Unlock needed. Not sure what that means. Uh, can we go enter or not? Unlock needed. So what I'll do is just go back, back, and what's this here? That's the map. I'm not sure if you have to load maps. Uh, I've gone back. Let's just show you what I did there. I tap the bottom one. You've got GPS info. Oh, we've got a lock. Wasn't expecting that. Tapping back, sound, timestamps, brightness, I'll leave that, security, radio, network, storage. There are lots of settings there. Um, so I am brand new to it, but yeah, it's fun tinkering, isn't it? Let's go down to public and press enter and i'm not expecting to get any messages here um because i'm in the room there's no antenna i need to get an antenna up nice and high but this is where i feel that you would see all your messages uh look if you see i tapped it there keyboard here i enter there you go that's gone out <laughs> to nobody um uh, what's this to discover and uh, no nodes. Let me see if I can turn a node on that's in my area. Right. So what we've done, we've gone to the flasher again and we've actually created this repeater. It wasn't that hard. I'll show you how. So inside my repeater was a Helltech 3. We just went to Helltech 3, clicked that. This time we clicked repeater. And then we did the erase and flash, let it load. And at the end of it, you actually you, you have to keep the USB connected and you configure it. I just chose e UK, EU UK Narrow and I gave it a name, Western Supermare Repeater. So Lily go here and then if you press here, this is what the repeater will look like. I have connected it to an external antenna, but it's quite low down. But anyway, it means now that when I went down to uh, discover that it did find Western Supermare repeater. OK, and uh, at the moment it says here zero hop. So I think I need to, to set the hops, but at least we got that far. Tap at the top here, tap at the back. Go back to public here, enter, and I'm just going to type another message. Uh, just hi. Um, I'll put an R there just so we recognize it. And then send. And I did see in Andy's video, and I actually oh, just saw it then, didn't you? That was me tapping the screen. See, it's got a two here, and I think that does mean it has hopped. Uh, so we're definitely on target to get getting things working here. So once I get an antenna high, I mean, I'm because I, I did put one in my loft to see if that would work. And I believe that's picking it up from my loft. Go down. That's the one I, we just made. So we've got, you yeah, know, we are receiving stuff. Let's go back to the, uh, I noticed there was an auto transmit. Let's just. See if I can go back into that, go down, auto advert on, include location. Yeah, I like that. We think we have got a lot back, back. Uh, now map, I feel like, don't we have to upload the map? Yeah, uh, I did see you can load that onto the SD card. So I'll do a dedicated video as, as remember, as I learn that, you know. Um, oh, there you are. It's, it is showing something there. I mean, we're going to need to go out a bit. I can see it's saying, yeah, just not seeing an actual map. Seeing GPS here, though. See, G it's coming and going. There is that. That's good. Set advert location. I think we've done that already, haven't we? Yeah, you click on the map. Tracks. I've, I've seen a video. Some um, almost like APRS tracking, wasn't it? 
Uh, and yeah, really appreciate the videos from Andy Kirby and anyone else that's helping. Uh, brightness. I'd like the screen to stay on, stay on longer. You've got brightness, security, radio, network, storage, GPS, config. That's interesting. Let's have a look. Okay, board rate that is. Uh, back. Oh, I just changed that. I didn't mean to change that. Maybe, well, maybe the board rate is the reason I'm not getting the map. Or I need to upload, someone tell me. Well, I think that's enough for now. Let me just, I need to tinker with it. You've got waypoints as well. That reminds me of flying uh, my drones. Not present, so you need that for waypoints. Help. Carrier messages. So hopefully my, I'll get, you know, the bottom line is if you want to, you know, let's do discover. Because I'm only receiving myself and that's because I'm in, in the house, in the room. But if I really want to receive something that's, that's got, there are a couple of repeaters that are the other side of the hill for me. That's the main problem I've got is that there's a big, big hill called Bleeding Hill. And the other side of that, there's some repeaters. There's one in, there's a repeater in world, but there's another hill in front of me. So to get some good signals, I, I need to get out. If you go out in your car or go out on a hill, you'll, I'll start picking stuff up with my mesh, you know, my Lily Go T deck, which looks fantastic, doesn't it? Um, you know, um, so it's a very nice looking device and hope this helps other people to load their, to load up this lovely, you, you know, interface and massive, massive thanks. And I am new to it, but if I turn it off then on to ripple, rippleradios.com. Let me just quickly look that up. I've never even heard of it. I am new. You know, I'm seeing this. Agree. So check it out. There's a something all that the website is no longer being maintained. All of the latest information about Ripple project is at this address. I will click that in a sec. So here's possibly the old one. I'm going to click this. Okay. Wow. And uh, thank you. Ripple radios, you can be a member. And posts there. Extras. I'll put the link in for this in the description. Got a watch there. Ultra firmware. T deck pro firmware. Um, Ultra firmware for the Wii tracker. Uh, yeah, I've got, I'm sure I've got a couple of these things lying around. T deck, Lily Go Ultra firmware, and Simple Sensor firmware. Oh, wow, a lot of work, isn't it? This is so excellent. Thank you. And let's go to home and about a place to get the latest. Greatest firmware, hot tips, custom build, prototypes, recent supporters. I think this is excellent. Membership, how do you join? Let's just click one here. Um, for anyone who just wants to hear about the latest happenings, new features. Behind the scenes, if you click join, this is for makers, tingers who want to access all of the best things it's three three dollars is it american is it and you click oh you pay thirty dollars for a whole year so i'm definitely going to look at this and see um if it's if it's you know if it's something that i'm going to be using regular then i would like to contribute thank you very much bye for now all the best and uh yeah seven free